Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The history of electrical outlets is a fascinating journey through technological evolution, cultural preferences, economic considerations, and geopolitical realities. When you travel internationally, one of the most common and sometimes frustrating experiences is dealing with different electrical outlets and voltage standards. It's a problem that seems so unnecessary in our modern, interconnected world. Why isn't there a single universal standard for electric outlets? To answer this question, we need to delve into the complex history of electricity, the development of electrical systems, and the multitude of factors that have influenced this seemingly straightforward issue. Our journey begins in the late 19th century, during the dawn of electricity. Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla were among the pioneers who championed different methods of generating and distributing electricity. Edison promoted direct current, DC, while Tesla advocated for alternating current, AC. This rivalry, known as the War of Currents, was about more than just scientific principles. It had significant commercial and practical implications. Edison's DC system had limitations in transmitting power over long distances, leading to higher costs and inefficiencies. Tesla's AC system, supported by George Westinghouse, proved to be more efficient for long-distance power distribution. Eventually, AC became the dominant method of electrical transmission. However, this was just the beginning of the complexities surrounding electrical standards. As electricity began to power homes and industries, different countries developed their own electrical systems based on their unique needs and circumstances. The United States, driven by the early adoption of Edison's DC system, initially developed a 110, 120 volt, 60 hertz AC standard. This decision was influenced by various factors, including the existing infrastructure and economic considerations. In Europe, however, different countries had different needs and preferences. Germany and other countries adopted a 220, 240 volt, 50 hertz AC standard. The higher voltage allowed for more efficient power distribution, which was particularly important in densely populated and industrial regions. These early decisions were made independently and were influenced by the technologies available at the time the existing infrastructure, and the priorities of each country. Once a country established its standard, changing it would have been extremely costly and disruptive. Thus, these early decisions set the stage for a lack of uniformity in electrical standards. The aftermath of World War II saw significant rebuilding and development across many parts of the world. This period was a critical moment for the standardization of electrical systems, as nations had the opportunity to modernize and possibly align their systems. However, geopolitical divisions, such as those between the Eastern and Western blocs during the Cold War, further entrenched differences in electrical standards. In Europe, efforts to standardize within the continent led to the adoption of the International Electrotechnical Commission IEC standards. However, even within the IEC framework, variations persisted. The United Kingdom, for instance, maintained its unique BS1363 socket and plug design, which was different from the rest of Europe. In the United States and Canada, the North American standard continued to dominate, with the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, NEMA, developing a range of plug and socket configurations tailored to different power needs. This further solidified the differences between North American and European standards. As technology advanced and consumer electronics became more widespread, the differences in electrical standards became more apparent and problematic. Manufacturers had to produce different versions of their products for different markets, which increased costs and complexity. This was particularly evident in the rise of personal computing and other electronic devices that required reliable and consistent power sources. 
In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, global trade and travel increased exponentially, bringing the issue of non-standardized electrical outlets to the forefront for many consumers and businesses. Travelers needed adapters to use their devices abroad, and multinational companies had to navigate the complexities of different electrical standards in their operations and product lines. Despite the inconveniences and additional costs, the entrenched differences in electrical standards proved difficult to overcome. The existing infrastructure, combined with regulatory and safety considerations, made the prospect of transitioning to a universal standard daunting and impractical for most countries. One of the key factors preventing the adoption of a universal standard is safety. Electrical systems are designed with specific safety features to protect users from shocks, fires, and other hazards. These safety features are deeply integrated into the design of plugs, sockets, and electrical wiring. Any change to the standard would require a comprehensive overhaul of these systems, which would be costly and potentially dangerous if not executed perfectly. Regulatory bodies in each country have developed stringent standards to ensure the safety and reliability of their electrical systems. Changing these standards would require international cooperation and consensus, which is challenging to achieve given the diverse interests and priorities of different nations. Furthermore, the differences in voltage and frequency between regions complicate the issue. North America's 110 120 volt 60 hertz system is fundamentally different from Europe's 220, 240 volt 50 hertz system. Aligning these standards would require significant changes to the electrical infrastructure, including power generation, transmission, and distribution systems. Economic and political factors also play a significant role in the lack of a universal standard for electrical outlets. Countries have invested heavily in their existing infrastructure, and transitioning to a new standard would require substantial financial investment. This investment would need to be justified by significant long-term benefits, which are difficult to quantify given the complexity of the issue. Political considerations, such as national sovereignty and the desire to maintain control over critical infrastructure, further complicate the possibility of international standardization. Countries are often reluctant to cede control over their electrical standards to an international body, fearing that it could lead to a loss of autonomy and influence. Additionally, there are vested interests within each country that benefit from the existing standards. Manufacturers, electrical contractors, and regulatory bodies all have a stake in maintaining the status quo which creates resistance to change. Despite the challenges, technological solutions have emerged to address the issue of non-standardized electrical outlets. Universal power adapters and converters allow travelers to use their devices in different countries, mitigating some of the inconvenience caused by differing standards. These devices are designed to handle different voltages and plug configurations, providing a practical solution for international travelers. In the realm of consumer electronics, manufacturers have developed dual voltage devices that can operate on both 110, 120 volts and 220, 240 volts. These devices are equipped with power supplies that can automatically adjust to different voltages, making them compatible with multiple electrical systems. Looking to the future, Advances in wireless power transmission and other emerging technologies could potentially reduce the reliance on traditional electrical outlets. Wireless charging pads and other innovations are already making it possible to power devices without the need for physical plugs and sockets. While these technologies are still in their early stages, they offer a glimpse of a future where the need for standardized electrical outlets may become less critical. The lack of a universal standard for electrical outlets is the result of a complex interplay of historical, technological, economic, political, and safety factors. The early decisions made during the development of electrical systems in the late 19th and early 20th centuries 
set the stage for the diversity of standards we see today. Efforts to harmonize these standards have been hampered by the significant challenges associated with changing established infrastructure and regulatory frameworks. While technological solutions have mitigated some of the inconveniences caused by differing standards, the prospect of achieving a universal standard for electrical outlets remains elusive. The history of electrical standards is a testament to the complexity of technological progress and the myriad factors that influence the development and adoption of standards. As we look to the future, it is possible that new technologies will change the landscape of electrical power and reduce the need for standardized outlets. Until then, travelers and manufacturers will continue to navigate the complexities of a world with diverse electrical standards. The history of why there is no universal standard for electric outlets is a reminder of the challenges and intricacies involved in creating global systems that meet the needs of diverse societies. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.